I don't know about you, but but I, I've got very early memories of of life feeling different to how it does now, or, or you know, so yes. so going back to the age of three or four, or maybe mm. even earlier, and and life seemed um, very immediate mm. and um, you know very very um, uh, infinite in possibility. Yes, and, and it, it's hard to even describe that really yes and little by little and i'm not complaining about my mm. life, but little by little um it, it becomes a bit more stale yes and, yes. and I, th I think probably that's quite a familiar experience it is for it a is lot of people yeah and in a way i suppose poets <laughs> yes. and other people are trying to recapture some of that or whatever it is <laughs> yes and and you know. one poet william wordsworth wrote about the very phenomenon you're describing mm. and in his line shades of the prison house close about the growing boy yeah. you know who initially is in vital contact with the world and sees it all as fresh and new everything is different mm. but then starts to turn it into a representation of a something that before was literally present now it becomes re present yes. in other words present only again afterwards yeah. as a model or as a map relates to the reality that it maps yeah. and this is an almost inevitable um, effect of um, using your analytic intellect all the time on things mm. you need to be careful that you don't lose the skill to do that it's an extremely valuable oh, skill yes, yeah. of course but you need also to be able to recapture the sense of the immediate wholeness and a lot of spiritual practices are effectively aimed at doing precisely that. Yeah, and, and I think perhaps falling in love as well. When people genuinely fall yes. in love, yes. it, it, it um, kind of transforms the world for a while. For it a certainly does, and not only that, but I think you think, although you're experiencing something that has been experienced billions of times before, yeah. that this is the first time it has ever really happened like this. Yes. It's completely unique. Yeah. even though it isn't. And it sort of is and it isn't. It is actually unique because this particular relationship and you and your body and your personality and your feelings are unique and yet it is also not disconnected from. Yeah. Yeah. So what I want to stress at this juncture is the importance of union and division together. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to divide and analyze. We need to be able to synthesize, i.e. to bring things together and see the whole. But we need to do both of those together. Yeah. We don't want either one or the other. We want no, both it's not and. It's better than the other. It well, no, it is. I, yeah. I would say, uh, for a whole host of reasons, that actually the right hemisphere is the one that sees more and is right. more important, as the master is more that's important the than the hemisphere, yeah. as the person who puts data into a computer, the computer does things that the person isn't going to do, yeah. and takes the data out and, and uses it, the computer isn't an equal partner in that, if you see yeah. what I mean. So uh, the left hemisphere is very good at carrying out procedures, mm -hmm. and as such is hugely valuable, as a good yeah. computer is, but it mustn't become the master. And there are so many sayings from uh, modern physicists, including David Bohm, and is also tr attributed to, to uh, Einstein, but also from um, the ancient Chinese wisdom literature, the idea of a usurper who is the conscious mind, who takes over yeah. from the wiser mm. um, master. Yes. In fact, they use the terminology of master and servant. I didn't know this, actually, at the time when I wrote the book. Oh, that's I, I, a lot of it I've come across in the last um, 10 years. Yeah, and, and the Sorcerer's Apprentice as well. The, 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 the Sorcerer's Apprentice, yeah. exactly the story. And you know, of course, that was Goethe. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. The Taubeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't originally Disney, was it? It wasn't originally <laughs> Disney, no, no.